Hi Robbie, this is Dennis from Denmark. Uh, thanks for a great, great, great video. Um, I really liked it, and I liked the way you you um, you compared the the Gohansen to uh, to cell phone. It's actually right. Um, Gohansen is merely a reflection of our own self. Um, it is a mirror to our soul, so to speak. But again, it's just a piece of paper with ink. That's it. Um, as you say, when we use it, we have a connection, and that's basically it. Um, the funny thing is, you're right, we can chant for anything, um, but I have a great story on why not to chant negative, because it really mm. bites your ass. Um, one of the people that I've learned from during the past seven years of practice um, was a uh, nurse in America and she had a um, a head nurse whom she really could not work with and they despised each other really and um, one time after a very very long shift uh, she uh, had a dispute with her in the evening just before going home and was coming back again early next morning and when she had this this fallout with the with the head nurse she went home and she chanted for the woman to disappear from her life to get out of her life um, and she really chanted a long time that evening and next morning when she got to work it had happened the funny thing is, she got what she wanted. The head nurse disappeared out of her life. How did it happen? She got fired by the head nurse next morning. So, we get what we want, but not always how we want it. Oh. Um, and that's, I never chant negative. Uh, And that's because I know through all these years of, of practicing what happens if you make a negative cause. As you say, the effect will be negative. And that's just how it works. Um, I have never ever uh, had the gu uh, I've never had the guts to, to chant negative because when you chant, you sort of cleanse your karma. It's like having a, a huge diamond inside you, and that's your, your, your Buddha nature. And every time you chant, you make a new facet. You, you grind a new facet on the, the diamond. So it sort of just becomes more and more radiant, beautiful, shiny, shimmery. Uh, and I usually say to myself and to other people, some of my uh, shakabukus, and shakabuku is, is people you learn, or, or you sort of, it's, it's in, in Japanese, I think it's, it's sort of like uh, um, uh, an apprentice. But it's just the, the effect uh, scares me. Um, I guess it's like people having gastric bypass surgery, afraid of eating sugar and fats because they know what will happen. <laughs> Not nice. Uh, to me, Kohanzen means a lot. Um, the way I usually say it is that when I, I only sit in front of Kohanzen when well groomed and having had a shower and, and being not in, you know, super beautiful, I'm going to a party or something close, but nice, because I've always been taught treat Gohansen like your best friend, like your best lover, because it's an honorable thing being there. When I sit there, I, I sort of think, when I sit and chant, I sit beside Sensei, Daisaku Ikeda, which is our third and last president. 
in, in the Soka Gakkai internationally. And I always think, you know, I need to be, you know, as if I had guests, but feeling home. And I have a really great chair that I sit in, still sit up straight because it's more nice for me, it keeps focus. But it's just to me, it's not that appearance is everything, but it doesn't hurt looking your best, you know? Uh, but the most important thing is being there. I mean, if you're really, really sick, for example, you want to get better, and you sit and chant, you don't feel your best, fine, do it. Even if you just got out of bed or just fought to get out of bed to get down there. Um, one of the people that, that also has taught me a lot through the last seven years was really, really sick the other day. I was at his house, and I mean, getting down his staircase was like a long time because of pain and really splitting back pain and flu and, you know, pain in every joint. He was down for like 10 minutes or 15 minutes chanting and you could really see, wow, it was really not nice, but he was there and he fought his karma, which was really amazing. And it's about faith. And of course he did not go down to have a shower right then and there. He, he got in his clothes, got down, chanted, he was really sick, and then went up again. It's the spirit. That's the most important thing. And to me... I chanted a long time without Kohanzen. Um, uh, to me, six months is a long time, and I, I believe it was six months before I got the Kohanzen. And I miss Kohanzen when I'm not home. Uh, and that means to me that I've gotten a great relationship with it. It's in my life, I need it. Um, because I know it's the truth. Because I know what it does to me and for me, which is really important. Um, I guess that's one what I wanted to say. But thanks a lot for a great video. And um, I'm going to Hi.